Aaron Sandusky is convicted of uh, marijuana distribution. Apparently, federal authorities are going after him because he was operating out of three medicinal marijuana uh, dispensaries in uh, Rancho Cucamonga. Now, after authorities contacted him and told them that he needed to shut down his dispensaries, he did shut down two of them. However, he kept one uh, dispensary open because in California, medicinal marijuana is legal, but federal authorities don't agree with that. So they eventually raided his dispensary, and he was offered a plea deal, but he didn't take it. Mm -hmm. So now he will serve a minimum a minimum of 10 years in prison as a result. To life, possibly. Yeah, to life. Yeah. For, for operating something legal, that is supposedly. completely legal in yeah. California. And we, by the way, the reason why I bring this up is because the Obama administration said that they are going to stay out of the states, mm -hmm. that they are going to let, let the states make their own laws when it comes to medicinal marijuana. But in the, the reality is Obama has been tougher on marijuana the than the Bush administration. Yeah. Why? Why well, are Bush you wasting your time? Bush had positive memories of marijuana use, I'm sure. <laughs> no, well, but so did it, Obama. It just, look, we've covered we, every every time I'm on here. I feel like we cover one of these stories of somebody getting arrested for something that's technically legal. Uh, it doesn't make any sense. It needs to be at some point we need to mesh the laws. I think by legalizing it, we, I, I'll make uh, I'll make the case again that we make every time. Uh, you can get as drunk as you want. You can buy a gallon of vodka and guzzle down the entire thing, but you can't smoke a joint. It doesn't make any sense. The fact that um, they're saying, that still under federal law, marijuana has no medicinal use. That's not up to your opinion. There are scientific studies. You can read them. I, I have a feeling that they probably have. Um, the head of the DEA, or the ATF, I forget which one it was, but recently said that um, she was being asked, is there any difference in terms of the damage that it does to you between heroin and marijuana, both the Schedule One drugs? And she said that she couldn't speak to that. Then you're an idiot and you shouldn't be in the government, especially not at a very high executive level of it. Uh, it doesn't make any sense. It needs to be resolved. and. I, I feel bad that until we get it resolved, people are going to be put in jail for 10 years of life for something that's legal. Aaron Sandusky's life will be destroyed because he will be in prison for 10 years, a minimum of 10 He's years. He's facing it like a champ, though. If he you is, read his quotes. Yeah, he basically says, if a jury finds me guilty of viol violating federal law, then I'll go do the time. Basically, he says that he's yeah. standing up for the Tenth Amendment, and he feels that uh, states should have the ability to come up with their own drug laws. I think that the federal government should come up with drug laws that make sense. Yeah. And in this case, marijuana should be legalized. I mean, I feel like it's such a no-brainer at this point. And it's incredible to me that this continues to happen. Seven states right now in the U.S. are pushing to make medicinal marijuana legal. Mm -hmm. I, I believe there are about 17 states that already have done that, including uh, Washington, D.C. So. Come it's on, federal government, let's go. What are you wasting your time with this for? There are just some areas where, if you're outside of America, it may be hard for you to understand where we're coming from, but there are difficult things that we have to, to deal with being illegal. Like, I think that we will, will breathe a little bit easier and live a little bit easier when two women can get married and then immediately pass a joint back and forth between each other. Like, both of those things are no-brainers. They don't hurt anyone. Just let them do it.